Coffin-Larry syndrome is a genetic disorder that is X-linked dominant and which can cause problems sometimes associated with abnormalities of growth, cardiac abnormalities, as well as auditory and visual abnormalities. before we walked into the room, brace yourself because you're, you're going to be bowled over by, by his, his joy and his um, uh, cheeky streak. Um, he's that adorable and uh, she was right. But for all the naughty things that he can sometimes do, the good stuff that he does and the joy and the smile on his face, um, just exceed those little cheeky naughty moments that we experience from him. Also to raise awareness for Coffin Larry syndrome, which is obviously very big to Donna's heart. And uh, the more people that know about these kind of things, um, the better it is easier to understand. Um, especially there are medical implications. I know Riley makes quite regular visits to us at ICDC. Um, he's got a few little fan club there with the ladies I might say and I think the last time he was in um, Danelle treated him and he was awesome he was an absolute little superstar males with coffin Lowry syndrome typically have severe to profound intellectual disability and delayed development Affected women may be cognitively normal or they may have intellectual disability ranging from mild to profound. started quite a few little fundraising campaigns. Um, one of them being today with the cupcakes and we have raised $353 just in the cupcakes house today. So thank you. 
We've now got um, Riley's story. This is for you, Riley. changed my life as cliched as it sounds um, he did he made me he, he made me decide that uh, I wanted to carry on doing this job as a support worker and um, when I after my first shift with with Riley I came home and I and I did a lot of research on coffin Larry syndrome um, I didn't really like what I read. Nobody does do that with any condition, any ailments. Um, uh, and I did get a little bit teary, and I remember. Those are the occupational hazards, I guess, is that uh, you just, you know, you, you don't like reading um, about some of these conditions that uh, some of our clients uh, have going through. And, um, but it just, it just made me stronger and made me realize that whilst he's still got this cheeky grin on his face, which is perpetual, we should convey that too. caused by mutations in the RPS6KA3 gene. This gene is located on the short arm of the X chromosome. This gene makes a protein that is involved in signaling with cells. Researchers believe that this protein helps control the activity of other genes and plays an important role in the brain. The protein is involved in cell signaling pathways that are required for learning the formation of long-term memories and the survival of nerve cells. So we've got a few little abrasions on you, have you had you? One, two, three. Do you want the TV? No? You want the TV on? like 
ice cream or yogurt or anything like that. Well, that's pretty very scary because knowing that if you ever have to, like the last time when the phone wasn't working, we had to, well, had to run next door, it was kind of worrying knowing that if you leave the house, you don't know what's going to happen until you come back. I think some of the most uh, redeeming qualities about Riley, they, there's a multitude to choose from, um, is his willingness to share with other people, shares with the other children um, and to the staff, and his willingness to help out. It's, it's amazing the tenacity that he has when it comes to um, wanting to tidy up, to make things symmetrical, to, to clear the pathway for anyone. He's very helpful with some of the children that we have in wheelchairs. And whenever we're out and about in, in the community, he'll always be very mindful of others and very conscientious, very aware of his surroundings. His capacity for wanting to please others is immense. And and that has always amazed me. He's a prodigious child, and um, but his heart, his heart is amazing. He 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 truly does, truly does possess unconditional love for those around him that he cares for, for those around him that show him compassion uh, and understanding, and. Um, He's, he's definitely worth making a film about because he's an amazing child. In Australia, where the amazing Riley lives, there are only a few males with Coffin-Lowry syndrome, which is why this may seem even more unique. <laughs>